Since 2005, I'm the therapy manager. Uh, I manage a team of uh, physiotherapists, occupational therapists, speech and language therapists and dietitians, but in very close collaboration with our psychology team, our supportive care team around welfare benefits. Um, and very much the focus of all of that is to ensure that patients live well with the impact of cancer. Uh, we, we are implicit really in all that uh, happens to a patient right from diagnosis ideally although being based here at the cancer centre being tertiary services uh, the emphasis is very much on through treatment and beyond whether that's into long-term survival or end-of-life care. I think we have responded very well to the needs of the patient uh, as they are many more people are surviving cancer um, and that as I said perhaps don't necessarily survive with you know symptom free for example um, and you know a person's life is very important post cancer diagnosis to to be able to live well uh, at all stages so uh, I feel that that award was very much for all of that um, and I suppose you know as the lead of a team that has helped to develop that then yes I, I was very humbled by by being awarded that because I feel as though I, I'm, I'm doing that on behalf of of a much wider team and, and a much wider service within the Valindra Cancer Centre so yes I was very grateful to Macmillan for that acknowledgement. It's great to work with Macmillan um, to develop service and to ensure that our patients are, um, are receiving that level of care that they need and deserve. Um, and I feel that Macmillan's ethos and the campaigning that they do in order that patients' lives are, are um, maximised, you know, the potential of their lives is maximised, is very much the ethos that myself and my team uh, promote. So being a Macmillan professional gives, gives a, uh, an additional weight to uh, the, the work that I can do and, and develop for the patients. Um, so yeah, so it's a, it's a great charity to work for and with.